Hi everybody, I'm Laura Bowles, owner of The New Normal. I hope that your week went well. I can say that my week, I think, went faster than, than any of the others since we've been home. Uh, this was week four, and we watched more TV than we have the previous three weeks, and everybody seems a little bit happier. I don't know if the two are correlated, but we'll see how week five goes. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay, and you can even leave comments on the YouTube video and let me know how you're doing. I would love that. Um, so tonight, I'm going to start a little bit different, in a different way. Um, instead of a story, I'm just going to start with a phrase, and you might, this phrase might sound familiar to you. It's, Mommy, will you play with me? I'm going to take a wild guess here and assume that you might be hearing this phrase quite a bit lately too. Um, and it might seem kind of counterintuitive because in my case, I am with my children nonstop all day and it feels like I'm giving them a lot of attention. And in spite of that, I'm still being asked for more attention. Or you might be in a situation where you are trying to get your work done from home and your kids are wanting your attention, asking for your attention, and you're trying to meet all of their needs and you feel like you're just keeping your head above water. Um, and so that phrase, mommy, will you play with me, can be irritating, it can be frustrating, it can be guilt invoking um, because you feel like you're not giving enough attention, whatever it is. I can almost guarantee you that if you are home with your kids right now, you're hearing that phrase a lot. So that's what I'm going to talk to you about tonight and tell you what I'm trying uh, as a way to respond to that phrase and hopefully give you some tips for how that'll work for you. So when I hear the phrase, mommy, will you play with me? It tells me something. It tells me that for my kids, there's a basic need that's falling through the cracks. And it's a need that was met before we had to recalibrate our lives. Um, you know, my kids used to go to preschool and I had them going on different days so that I had time with each of them individually. And that's really what I've been feeling is missing recently is that one-on-one -on -one time with each of them. So as you all are recalibrating your lives right now. There is one practice that you can do to meet that need for your children. And as we're all trying to find our footing with parenting in this bizarre situation, um, carving out one-on-one -on -one time with each of your kids can be something that's grounding for you and helps to shape and structure your day in a way that meets your need and your children's need for connection. So, what does this actually look like? I'm gonna give you an idea of what it's looking like in my house, and I can tell you I'm just trying some things right now, and I'm definitely going to be um, revisiting you know, how I do things as I kind of guess and test and learn what works, but I'll give you some ideas, and then, like I said, I'd love to hear about how this is going for you. So this is what we're doing. I have decided that each day, each kid, has a time that's set aside for them. Um, I'm setting a timer or an alarm clock that is telling me when that time is for them. And this is probably my kid's favorite part. They got to choose the sound of the alarm so they know what their sound is that day. And when the alarm goes off, they know that it is their time with mommy, their special time. Um, you can call it whatever you want, but you wanna make sure that they know that it's your time with them. Um, once their timer goes off, I set, an, I set a timer for the amount of time that I'm going to spend with them. I've been doing about 20 minutes. You can do you know, however much feels good to you. But during that time, that is their time to lead the way. So they choose what we do. They, um, you know, they get to be the leader and they get the power in the situation. So I'm definitely not entertaining them during that time. I'm not coming up with an activity to do. It's all about them and they get to do it. Um, and it's actually been really amazing because the things that they've chosen, 
have been so simple. Um, like my son the other day said, I want you to play Legos with me. And I always feel like I don't have the creativity. I'm not going to be able to build, you know, something interesting. And I sat down next to him, just told him, you know, I'm, I'm here. I'm going to play Legos with you. I kind of moved around some Legos. He spent the whole time building his own things, telling me about the different characters, telling me what they were doing, how they had a headquarters. And I literally built, built nothing the whole time. All I did was sit next to him. Um, my daughter the other day when it was her time, she decided she wanted to play teacher and she had me sit on the floor and she told me all of the things that she used to do in her preschool class. Um, and basically I got to sit on the floor and listen to her and I didn't do a whole lot. I got to listen to her sing, sing some, some songs or some versions of songs that, <laughs> um, that she misses from school. So you know, a lot of times it doesn't require a whole lot of energy on your part. What it does require though is mindfulness and really paying attention to what they're needing from you and blocking out all of the other distractions. I know for me, a lot of times I want to reach for my phone. I want to see if anybody sent any messages um, or, you know, it's just out of habit. I want to grab my phone or I want to start cleaning up. Like we sit down in the middle of the play area and I start to want to like put the toys away or, oh, those Legos are still out. I want to put those away. And I have to remind myself that I'm blocking all of that out during that 20 minutes and my focus is on the child. Um, so that's what I really encourage you to do. Um, to talk with your kids about how to set that time aside for them. It might look totally different for you. If your kids are younger, my kids are about three and five. Um, if your kids are younger, it may need to be more frequent times throughout the day that are set aside for them. Um, but the, the principle remains the same. Just by setting aside a specific time and being able to focus on them during that time, what I've noticed is it relieves a lot of the pressure and even the feelings of irritation and guilt that rise up throughout the day when they're asking you, mommy, will you play with me? Mommy, will you play with me? And you're feeling like, I have to get lunch ready. I have to, you know, whatever it is, clean, work, you know, all of the things that we're trying to do when our kids are asking for our attention. And instead, when I'm asked that question, I have an answer now, which is we're gonna have special time in just a few minutes or you know in an hour when I'm finished folding the laundry and putting everything away that's when we're gonna have that special time and they know that it's coming so that's been really something that's worked well here this week um, it's something that you know I know from understanding conflict that conflicts can be alleviated and resolved just by people understanding each other better and spending quality time together. But of course, in all of the stress and issues that have come up in the last few weeks, I've forgotten about that. And also, it's been a lot harder because our structure and our schedule has changed so much. And so that wasn't built into the, the daily rhythm of things. Um, so that's something that I'm trying to be really intentional about now. So I hope that this idea is helpful for you. And like I said, it's gonna look different for everybody who tries it with their family um, and just to kind of work out the kinks and for your kids to understand that you're going to protect this time for them each day is something that's gonna take a little bit of time. But the best news about it is the next time that you hear your child say, mommy or daddy, will you play with me? You have an answer and they can be comfortable with that answer because they know that they can count on it. So I hope this is helpful for you, and I also hope that no matter how your day has gone, whether you have felt guilty or irritated, or maybe you're just tired and you're not sure what's going to happen the next day because you kind of wake up and do it all over again, I want you to know that you're doing a great job, you're doing the best you can possibly do, and your kids are really lucky to have you.